Hey guys, it's Substitute 541, and I'm gonna show you how to make a circular loading bar. A flash circular loading bar using no tweening at all. Unlike flash builders, the twin, twin loading bar which takes up considerable amounts of space. First, let's let's see what we're working working on here. Here I have a document called Circular Loader. Let's test our movie. In the second frame, I have some drif pictures of drifters, drifters, and stuff like that. Let's first test a movie. You may not notice it, but if you go to View, Simulate, Download, the download settings I'm using is 28.8 .8 to better illustrate it. And you see it, it loads perfectly. To make it a bit faster, to make it a bit faster, I'm, I'm gonna choose 56k, then simulate download. It works. See? As it goes halfway, it continues. And you might notice a bit of a stop, but I bet most people won't notice it. And after it goes there, it does. It's done. I could have added a timer and wait five seconds and load it, but nah. In this case, no. We're not gonna get into much complex detail. This has no text, by the way. If you want to have text, it's very easy. It's the same as my bar loader. You can just add a new text field and text format and press it to the center, or just use this. A text, add a instance name, and calculate the percentage or the byte or the kilobytes and kilo kilobytes total and kilobytes total. Okay, enough talk. Let's get on with it. We we'll make a new document. We can make a new file. Action three point I'm gonna save it into. I'm gonna save it into cir circle load loader demo demo first we need one two three four five six layers for this one two three four five six we add it into a folder to make avoid confusion we're gonna name it a loader group these and change the first layer to actions this will be where our script is Change this to front. Change your front. This is the front of the loader. Change this. What's it? Change this to F loader. Th that is front loader. There are two loaders, two semicircles. And change this to mask. No, this is not actually a mask. It acts like a mask. And change this to B loader. And here, change it to back. Change this to back. The naming doesn't matter. I, make, I named it to avoid confusion. And we're gonna turn it into black. Lock the actions layer. But, so we won't add any unnecessary graphics into it. Choose the oval primitive. And if you're on CS4 and up or above, you can choose the align, or you calculate the, or you can divide the 550 divided by 2 and 450, 400 divided by 2 to make place it to the center. It doesn't really matter where it is, I just wanted to put it in the center. Then, you can drag this, wait, no, you can drag the point, make sure your cursor changes. Drag the point outward and hmm, 80. It's uh, good. Let's use it to 90 for demonstration purposes. And let's choose it in color white. And we still use the old primitive with a solid over primitive. There are many ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you Flash Builder's design. Not the script, this is the design the front. Now that we have the front, you can lock it. The F loader, first, first, wait, 
So F rotor, you must copy this first. Copy. Control Shift B, face on front, face in place. So you have that that circle. Press Control B or break apart. Oh wait, wrong. Change this to zero, then break apart. Oh come on, then break apart. You can also break apart these two. You can break apart those so it won't take enough enough space. Basically, the By the way, we're gonna color this to the color I we want our loader to be, which is yellow for demonstration purposes. Basically, the the less space the loader screen takes, the faster the lo the faster the server is gonna load the loader. See, I have lag. Make a circle. I make a square. Change changes to even values to the thirty two. That's good enough. Move it, and if you see an if you see a number that is even, like 48, and your width is an even number, and you think it's right in the center, change it to an even number. Change it to an even number, 48. Deselect, select. Now we got a part of it. First, rotate this. You can do it, or you can change it. I just rotate this. Rotate it. Control C. I'm gonna copy it. At the back loader, press Control. At the mask, press. Let's see. Press like this. Press Control V, and change this to the color of the background you want. I'm gonna change this to a dark pure gray. It's a web color. In the B loader, you're gonna lock the mask. You don't need to edit it. In the B loader, press Control V again, and you have another one. Wait. Oh, I'm wrong. F loader. You convert this to a symbol. Make sure it's at the center right dot here at the registration point. Make sure it's the center right. Name this loader. Now you can copy and paste it to the back. You can view the mask. On the F loader, changes to well F loader. I have no possible name for it. It's okay. It's not that bad. And on the B loader, change to guess it B loader. The you don't need special names for this. Make sure, but make sure you know the names. Now we got that. Oops. We got a bit of. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something strange. Let's zoom in a bit. Oops, I made it too small. Sorry, guys. First, view the mask. For the for the mask, and view the F loader. For the mask, expand it. I made it a bit too small. And go to library loader. Wait. Uh, guys, I'm gonna recreate the loader to seem a bit bigger. I'm gonna recreate the loader symbol to seem a bit bigger, so yeah. Sorry for inconvenience, I have to recreate it, so yeah. Later. Alright, guys, I'm back, and yeah, I renamed it. I recreated it, I made it a bit larger. Almost as large as the front, and yeah, let's continue. So make sure to, again make sure the registration point is at the center left or center right. After that let's move on. 
for the now let's go to the actions panel go to this and go to the actions panel if you don't have it you can just press con F9 hey sorry guys there's a break in the video because I accidentally press F9 for the actions panel so I had to repeat it again anyways here's the code first we're gonna stop the frame first we're gonna stop the frame so we can allow it to load then we're gonna add the event listener so it's here then at the function loader we're gonna we're gonna initiate four variables the bytes loaded the bytes total the percentage and the rotation in the bytes loaded we're gonna get the bytes loaded this at one loader in five bytes loaded remember this this that root that so this this movie and the we're going to the bottom of it bottom of all of it and we're gonna get the loader info then we're gonna get the bytes loaded same in the bytes total we're gonna get we're, it's still the same but we're getting the bytes total in the percent we're gonna divide them the, the bytes loaded and bytes total so we're gonna get a number between 0 and 1 or 0 and 100 percent in the rotation in var rot or rotation for short is a number but all of these are numbers percent times 360 so basically it's like this if your percentage is 0.5 or 50 percent this will turn to 180 and I'll show you why later I'll show you why we choose 360 later first we can create a nested if function or two if functions inside an if function the percent is less than one so it's still loading the f loader scale x is equal to 0.5 scale y is 0.52 the percent and in the if this if function if the percent is less than 0.5 or 50 percent we're gonna rotate the back loader the, the loader that is back at the mask we're gonna rotate it to depending on rotation if it's zero percent it's gonna zero then it as it creases this moves in the clockwise direction because of the flash coordinate system is in it's not the or the normal coordinate system we use in graphing calculators and stuff like that. The flash is using video screen coordinate system, so basically positive x goes in this direction and positive y goes in this direction and the origin point is is at the top left corner of the screen the f loader in this if, if function if percent is greater than 0.5 we're going to move the f loader and before and we're going to scale it so if at the first it's 0.5 so basically it's hiding under this white circle then we're going to reappear it the b loader the rotation needs to, to stick at the 180 so it stays here the f loader the rotation will jump so it, it flips here then moves I'm gonna move and move and move until it stops so, and this a function if movie bytes loaded is greater than or equal to movie bytes total so basically if it's greater than or equal to bytes total we're gonna go to insert into frame 2 and I'm gonna remove the event listeners to avoid unless to avoid script, script errors or things like that note in time I added a new layer it's called picks so this, these are my drift picks drifters drifter picks and this is in SWFS history that is as 120 kilobytes we'll see that later first I'm gonna explain how this works again I'm gonna explain it again if I did in the below order that rotation the B loader, the one at back here, will rotate. Then rotate to show the progress. And as it gets to halfway, the B loader is just semicircular, anyways. To get halfway, sorry guys, again, uh, my dad came. Uh, let's come back to this. If percent is 
it says in point five it's gonna rotate clockwise and it's get halfway which is here if percent is greater than point five which is one eighty degrees so point five times one thirty six is one eighty so it gets one eighty degrees and stops it. Below the rotation is one eighty so it stays one eighty. The F loader we're gonna scale it back to one so it goes back to its normal size. F loader rotation is rot so the rot rotation so it jumps here then moves and moves and moves until until it initiates the if function here we're gonna remove the event listener and it's done and let's see it in action and you see you didn't notice it and it's a bit laggy change the download settings to 56k that's normal I'm gonna simulate the download. Well, see? It works. Let's zoom in. It works. The loader works. Honestly, this is a bit better than Flash Building, Flash Builder's loader. See, it continues. It uses no tweening at all. Unlike Flash Building's version, which uses tweening, which takes considerable amount of space, which is not good for a loader screen. In my Bower Loader version, it uses scripts too with no tween at all. You can see it my video. You can see it my video. It's at the it's at my channel. I'm gonna add it later. And here. That's the that's it. I'll see this video in Flash Building Builders version and that's it. So guys and see you guys later. That's all and see you guys later. Have fun scripting and coding.